Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for the Greater Walters AME Zion Church Virtual Job Fair. Today, we will be hearing from 11 employers hiring from various positions across multiple industries. Each employer will speak for approximately five minutes to give you some information about their company, and we'll highlight the job openings they currently have. If you have questions at any time, please type them into the chat and we will address them during the small group discussions that will be taking place in the breakout rooms after all employers have presented. Today's session is being recorded and will be made available on the Illinois WorkNet YouTube channel for you to refer to later. One thing that I do wanna note here for our job seekers that are joining, you'll see here up on the screen, in order to be able to utilize a lot of the different breakout rooms features that are available, like moving freely from room to room. You'll wanna be sure to have the most recent version of Zoom Client for Meetings downloaded. You'll see the link that's provided there. Follow that link. The first thing that should come up is that Zoom Client for Meetings um, add-on, if you will. If you download that, you'll be able to utilize all of those features. There should have been an email that was sent to you as well prior to the meeting. So hopefully a majority of you have done so. Um, if you do have any issues you know, downloading that, uh, you may need to leave the session momentarily, download that feature, and then rejoin the session. We'll go ahead and let you back in, so no worries there. You won't be kicked out permanently. Uh, but again, please make sure you have that add-on downloaded before we get to the breakout rooms uh, portion of the event if you have not yet done so. Now, I am pleased to introduce Jeffrey with the Illinois Department of Employment Security. Jeffrey, are you available to present? I'm available to present. So I just wanted to say good morning to everybody. Um, first, I want to thank the employers that are here. So today we have Addis Home, Home Care, All Point Security, CTA, Cisco, Illinois State Toll Highway Authority, Levy, MV Transportation, Northwestern Memorial, Verizon, Worldwide Flight, and our dog group. So I appreciate your support. And also I want to thank all the job seekers for being here as well. So I hope that you can find some good opportunities with these employers. So please stick around for the whole time so you can um, hear what the employers have to say and talk to them directly. So that, that being said, I'm going to pass it over to Yolanda Bailey with ENES. Thank you, Jeff. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for this morning's hiring event session. We're going into a wonderful second day as uh, yesterday we had uh, very informative workshops on resume and interviewing skills. So therefore, it's our sincere hope that everyone can put into place the skills that were um, presented on yesterday. And we also would like to thank our wonderful partners, uh, our funders, Chicago Cook Workforce Partnership, IDES, and as well as the Greater Walters AME Zion uh, Church for allowing us to host this event. And with that being said, I would like to introduce our first employer, Ms. LaShawn James, who will be representing for Addis Healthcare. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for allowing us to present and to be a part of the job fair. My name is LaShawn James, Regional Vice President with Addis Home Care. Um, can... uh, so we are hiring, we are a national healthcare company. Um, we have been around since 1979 um, and we are one of the largest home and community-based services uh, employer that partner with the Illinois Department of Aging, DOORS, the Department of Rehabilitation Services, um, the Veterans Administration, community organizations to make sure that seniors live in their homes independently for as long as they want to live. So we are looking to hire some folks that have a heart for seniors um, who are looking to re-enter into the workforce um, and to really looking to grow with a national healthcare company. We're in 25 states and continuously growing. We are hiring home care workers. Currently, we have walk-ins. All you have to do is come into our office and be ready to go to work. We are looking for individuals to start off with an online application. Uh, some of the credentials that you would need will be a high school diploma or a GED. If you cannot put your hands on either, then I will take a letter of experience. 
um, one form of ID and a social security card. We have lots of benefits, a 401k, we have uh, benefits, other health benefits, sick days, vacation days. We have incentivized and pro, uh, services, uh, incentivized programs for our, 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 our employees. So we are looking for folks to really be able to, that's ready to go into the healthcare industry. And I tell people all the time, healthcare, we're not going anywhere. Healthcare is one of the top 10 industries. And so we're looking for people to grow with us with a national healthcare company. Next slide. Thank you so very much. My name is LaShawn James, Regional Vice President with Addis Home Care. And also, let me, I failed to say that we're starting at $15 an hour and we are so flexible. We're flexible with part-time hours, full-time hours, if you are taking care of a family member right now and at home, we can continue to pay you to continue to do what you're doing. Right now, you're taking care of your mom, your dad, of a loved one and not getting paid. We can pay you to keep doing what you're doing for your family member. Reach out to me. We're ready to go. Thank you so very much for this opportunity. Fantastic. Thank you so much, LaShawn, for that presentation. And again, I want to reiterate for folks that are on the line, if you do have any questions uh, for LaShawn at Addis, please feel free to enter your questions into the chat or better yet, uh, wait to reserve your questions to the breakout rooms that will be taking place after all employers present. You'll have a chance to speak with LaShawn directly and ask any questions that you do have, again, regarding any of those opportunities with Addis. Thank you so much, LaShawn. Next employer will be um, All Point Security. Ryan, are you available to present? I am available. All right, give me one moment, sir. I'm gonna advance to your slides and we can begin. Absolutely. And you can begin whenever you're ready. Sure. Uh, thank you and good morning to all. Uh, my name is Ryan Thibodeau. I am the Human Resource Manager for All Point Security. Uh, we are currently hiring for full and part-time positions available. Uh, next slide, please. Okay, here are the criteria that you need to have uh, in order to work on armed security. Uh, you need to have the 20-hour uh, unarmed training certification. Uh, your current perk card, which is the permanent employee registration card, uh, current driver's license or current state ID, social security card, a high school diploma or GD certificate, and you must be at least 21 years of age. Next slide, please. So safety of our employees and clients and customers is our top priority. All of our staff are required to have protective equipment such as masks, uh, frequent and extensive hand washing, safety distance measures, and all guest areas are rigorously disinfected with EPA approved antimicrobial products. Next slide, please. Benefits. There are flexible hours to work. There's also medical insurance as well as dental. We have a 401 savings plan. Uh, uniforms are free. You have vacation pay. Our pay schedules are bi-weekly and there's a family friendly work environment. Next slide, please. Okay, if you would like to join our team, you can apply online, simply click the careers tab and follow the instructions. Once again, thank you for this opportunity. Excellent. Thank you so much for that, Ryan. And again, as I just stated, if you do have questions for Ryan, you can either throw those into the chat or you can reserve those questions to the breakout room session where you'll be able to meet with Ryan and ask any questions that you do have of anything related to all point security directly to him. Thank you again, Ryan. Our next employer will be the RDOT group. Uh, Aurelie, are you available to present? Hi, yes. Can everybody hear me? 
can. You can begin whenever okay. you're ready. Awesome. Sounds good. And then just a heads up, we can just leave it on this slide. I know mine was on the lengthier side, so I can just speak um, on, on this slide. Thank you. Um, awesome. So yeah, my name is Aureli Ramirez. I'm representing RDOT Group. Um, a little bit about RDOT Group. So we are a leading global supplier of infinitely recyclable um, metal beverage cans and ends. Uh, we produced many of the beverage cans that um, you all may use already uh, to drink your favorite beverages from, ranging from sodas, seltzers, beers, to ciders. Um, some of our biggest uh, customers that we work with are Coca-Cola, uh, White Claw, LaCroix, just to name a few. And we produce metal packaging, which is a permanent material, meaning it can be infinitely recycled without any loss of quality. Um, we are a leading global player across Europe and the Americas, and we operate in 23 production facilities in nine countries. Um, employing approximately 5,000 employees. Um, we do have a variety of positions open, um, anywhere from plant salary, plant hourly, to corporate and technical um, support. And if you'd like to learn more about us, you can visit our website at www.r.group.com. Task. Thank you so much for that, Arlie. And again, as I've been stating, if you do have any questions for the uh, RDOT group, please feel free to either throw those into the chat or reserve that to the breakout room session that will be taking place after all employers have presented. Thank you so much, Arlie. <clears throat> Our next employer will be the Chicago Transit Authority. Jocelyn, are you available to present? Yes, I'm available. Give me one moment to advance to your slides and we can begin. All right. All right, so good morning. Thank you again for joining us today. My name is Jocelyn Humphrey. I currently work with CTA as a recruiter. Um, I work with mass hires, including our customer service assistants and bus operators. Next slide. So um, CTA currently employs about 10,000 employees and that's union and non-union. We serve Chicago area and the 35 suburban areas. And we have 130 bus routes and eight rail lines, which includes our red, blue, brown, orange, green, pink, yellow, and purple. Next slide. So our careers includes our operators, which are our bus operators, um, rail servicers, bus cleaners, our maintenance department, janitors, infrastructure, which is our power way, construction and engineering. Um, that department deals with our rail structure and our system signals. Next slide, thank you. So our law department, technology, and administrative department deals with more of our corporate side, and they're at our corporate building, 567 Westlake. And this department just help bring our bus servicers and bus operators together as a whole. Next slide. Now, our feature careers are our bus operators and our bus mechanics. Now, we're constantly hiring for these two positions. And as you can see on the slide, our salary for our bus operators started $23.44. Our bus mechanics started $29.82. Um, we have more information regarding those positions. And you can check it out on transitchicago.com backslash careers. Next slide. Now, all our positions, again, are posted online. We update this or add new positions every Friday. We also have an area where you can find upcoming jobs. So they're not jobs that's available yet, but they will be coming up soon. Again, every Friday, we do post new positions. Next slide. Next slide. Now our hiring process takes between four to six weeks. And um, as you can see on the slide, the first thing you have to do is apply. Um, there are tests 
or assessments that's available if the position requires it. Um, if you do pass those tests or assessments, you'll be invited to an interview. If you pass the interview, then an onboarding process will start, which there are many steps between that and to the new employee orientation, which is the first day. Next slide. And then this is a way to apply. Again, you can visit us at transitchicago.com backslash careers. Um, I can share more information or if you have any questions, you can put it in the chat or we can speak one-on-one. -on -one. Um, next slide. And again, you can follow us on LinkedIn, search for Chicago Transit Authority. Thank you. Thank you so much for that presentation, Jocelyn. And again, if you do have any questions for Jocelyn regarding any opportunities available with CTA, please stick around for the breakout room session. where We'll be able to ask those questions uh, directly to Jocelyn. Thank you so much again, Jocelyn. Our next employer will be Cisco or the Construction Industry Service Corporation. Jamila, are you available to present? Yes, I'm available. Fantastic, you can begin whenever you're ready. Um, today, I'll be talking to you guys about opportunities in the career construction. You can go to the next slide. So an apprentice is a student of the trade. Uh, apprentices uh, learn through classroom instruction and on-a-job training. And most apprentices are paid from the first day while some are not. Next slide, please. So why union construction? Our tuition is free. It is uh, certified by the United States Department of Labor and it's nationally recognized. Um, we go through earn while you learn. As I said, the tuition is free. Next. So union workers earn more money, um, receive guaranteed raises yearly after you journey out. Um, like I said, when you are an apprentice, it is every six months. Next. Uh, benefits, we receive health insurance, retirement benefits, we have job security, a lot of the trades also do vacation pay. Um, while some and most non-union workers, they have to bargain for themselves, but we bargain collectively. So let's talk about the requirements. You have to be at least 18 years of age, high school diploma or GED, um, they will ask for you to have a violent driver's license, uh, strong math skills, must be drug free. Keep on. You might have to pass an aptitude test. Now, some trades don't have to do aptitude tests, but some they do ask for you to be able to pass an aptitude test. Keep clicking. And you must be able to work in the United States. Next slide, please. So let's talk about our wages. After you journey out, uh, we make $50,000 to $100,000 per year. While you're an apprentice, you make $25,000 to $33,000 a year. Our, uh, when you're an apprentice, you do receive that raise every six months. Next slide. And the health insurance and the pension and all of that stuff is paid through the employer. So that doesn't come out of your actual check. You can keep going. Next slide. So when you go through the application process, you want to choose one or more uh, trades, determine whether applications are being determined at that time, and check for the basic requirements that that trade is asking you to have. And be prepared to pay an application fee. Most application fees are $25 to $50, but again, it is all determining on what trade you choose to go into. Next. So you wanna apply in a timely manner. Uh, you wanna wait to be notified of the test date. You wanna be there at least 30 minutes early. Prepare for that aptitude test, show up to that early, at least 30 minutes. And um, next slide. Wait to be notified of your interview date. That's if applicable. Um, some trades still go by interview process, but most of them no longer do that interview anymore. Next. 
And if you do have an interview, you wanna show up at least 30 minutes early. So you wanna to wait to be notified of your acceptance and your start date. Show up to that at least 30 minutes early. Be prepared to take that physical exam and that illegal substance test. Now the illegal substance test, that is a urinalysis, but some trays do do too a urinalysis and a hair follicle. And if they do a hair follicle examination, they will go back at least six months. Now, marijuana is legal in the state, but we the trades go by federal guidelines and it is still illegal. So it's very important to just be drug free. Although some trades do not test for drugs, um, but if you do go out to a contractor and they send you to a federal job, they may be subjected to doing uh, a drug test. Next. And be prepared to come on work every on time every day, at least 30 minutes early. So for more information, you want to go to Cisco.org. Um, Cisco actually posts all of the trades that are accepting applications at this time. We are coming out of a pandemic, but slowly but surely, we are beginning to open back up. Contact the apprenticeship program directly. There's also an apprenticeship guide also on cisco.org. You can definitely check out the website and get all of those necessary informations or visit your local IDES or AIC office. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much for that presentation, Jamila. And again, for any of the folks that are on the call that might be uh, interested in entering the trades, please feel free to stick around for the breakout rooms portion of the event where you'll be able to meet uh, with Jamila and ask her any questions that you might have uh, regarding any of the information she covered here today. Thank you so much, Jamila. Our next employer will be the Illinois Tollway. GOT, are you available to present? Yes, I am. You can begin whenever you're ready. Okay, great. Hi, good morning, everyone. My name is Jyoti Rao. I am the Pipeline Partnership Liaison here with the Illinois Tollway. I'm really excited to talk with you all today. Um, I'll spend a few minutes covering about our organization, about our team, and then the benefits. Next slide, please. Great. Um, so the Illinois Tollway operates, as you can see here in this map, in 12 different counties. Um, it's a total of 294 centerline miles, and there's five different toll roads that are represented. Uh, there are other toll roads uh, that um, are within the um, northeastern region here of Illinois, um, working with IDOT, and we work very closely together um, on construction projects for both. Um, but here you will see in green our 294 center line miles um, that spread throughout northeastern region of Illinois. Next slide. So our mission statement um, is lengthy, but I wanted to call attention to two focus areas, which is primary um, area for our mission, which is the first and foremost is safety. Uh, we you've seen many of our campaigns for um, driver safety and our uh, construction worker safety. Um, and we have, um, we do pride ourselves on um, for the 2021 accolades and 2020 accolades um, that our team has received um, and just wanted to provide you with this information um, because we are all, um, you know, roadway safety is everyone's responsibility and really everybody who works with the tollway um, has this ingrained um, from day one when you start. Next slide. Thank you. And our um, primary uh, focus are our, our customers, our uh, folks that are driving on the tollway. Um, so there's 1.6 million vehicles that are on the tollways daily. Um, and we do have customer service centers, our customer call centers that assist in 1.9 million calls a year. And so there's a lot of uh, upcoming career opportunities that will be in the customer service centers. We just recently opened up our business center in uh, our Donna's Grove headquarters. So if you have any questions, you can feel free to visit us there now with the safety precautions for uh, COVID in place with the um, booths there, but that's going to be available for you to visit if you need any help. Um, but that's really where our customer service, um, our toll operator, customer service folks 
were transitioned since we moved to cashless operations. And so, um, you know, responding to 1.9 million calls a year is quite a task. And so we are consistently looking for customer service representatives um, that will be um, aiding and you'll be located at our Donner's Grove office um, to help with uh, customer calls. Next slide, please. Great. And so here is our, our team. So you can see our team is quite complex. So there's 16 different departments within the tollway. So when you think of, you know, managing the roads, you think, okay, it's, you know, construction or you think, okay, it's, you know, folks who are the help trucks or, um, you know, um, construction on, on maintenance and um, the, 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 the yard or the, the lawn maintenance, things like that. But there's a, quite a diverse group here of roles and responsibilities within the tollway. So again, there's 16 different departments. Um, pretty much all of our positions are full-time benefited roles. Um, and we have positions that require um, high school GED all the way up to uh, master's degrees. So very diverse team here. And I hope that you can see yourselves in one of these departments. The next slide. Um, and so we have a total of uh, just under 1,300 uh, team members. And um, primarily, there's about 400 of our team that is um, equipment operator and laborers. And those are the individuals that are doing fantastic work um, that are driving those help trucks. There's a snow plow folks um, really making sure that our, our roads are safe for drivers. And then the remaining team is in, in many different departments, as, I, as you saw in the previous slide, uh, that make up our entire team serving, um, uh, serving drivers in our tollway. So we have, um, you can see here our uh, demographics and uh, diversity numbers and breakdowns. And as a government agency, we um, do report out our numbers and we are always looking to uh, make sure that there's equitable access to opportunities and so um, some recent highlights is some more strategic partnerships with organizations are dedicated to, to growing diversity, um, unconscious bias training, and additional um, initiatives to increase access and opportunities. Because we want to see um, individuals that are represented in all communities that we serve. We want to see uh, that represented in our team of employees. Next slide. And you can see here our benefits. Again, we are a state agency, so um, state of Illinois employee. Um, so the benefits uh, are applicable here. Um, there's a great tuition reimbursement if you're looking to take advantage of that uh, during your time as an employee. And then of course, the state employee retirement program, um, fully vested after 10 years in service. And um, the great, another benefit is that um, the medical dental vision kicks in day one. Next slide. All right, so here's our website and um, we do have uh, some summer internships for next summer. I'm happy to talk with you about. We do have an upcoming apprenticeship for the equipment operator and laborer. Um, and I'm happy to talk with you about our current uh, full-time available opportunities as contract analyst, ethics officer, and engineer. Um, and happy to see you in the breakout rooms. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that presentation, GLT. And again, if you do have any questions, uh, regarding any of the information that was covered here today by Illinois Tollway, please plan to stick around for those breakout rooms. Uh, we will be able to ask your questions directly. Thank you so much. Our next employer will be Levy. Um, our, is the uh, Levy employer rep, Ebony, are you on the line available to present? Yes, I'm here. Fantastic. You can begin whenever you're ready, Ebony. Okay. Sorry. So good morning, everyone. My name is Ebony Hall. I work with Levy located at the United Center. Um, so I, I will just explain to you a bit about the different positions that we are looking to fill and just a bit about Levy in overall. All right, next slide, please. So the first slide is just pretty much um, a representation of Levy's core values. So diversity and inclusion, growth, sustainability, community, um, so Levy stands strong on diversity and inclusion, being that we work with so many individuals. We have over 900 associates. So that is very important to make sure that everyone is comfortable in their workplace and just feeling equal. Uh, it is definitely a place for growth. So you can always grow from you know, the beginning to wherever you want to expand to. Um, there is a lot of training that is provided as well throughout the different areas that we are looking to fill. And 
community. Uh, we just are really big on giving back. We do different events throughout the year as far as keeping the associates involved with giving back to the community as far as uh, uh, partnering with different organizations and just helping out wherever we can. All right, next slide. All right, so this here is just a few of the different positions that we are currently looking to fill. Um, we have concessions, culinary, retail, sanitation, suites, warehouse, and we also have other various uh, restaurants we are currently looking to fill some positions in that are not listed because we do have quite a bit, but we have like Queenie's and uh, Kettle One, so there's quite a bit of um, positions that we have available. So these here are just a few of the different ones that fall under those under those main categories, including the rate of pay for those. Um, and then some awesome perks that we have, we do provide free paid lunch per shift for all of our associates and $2 parking, which is also a perk because we can understand how that can be a hassle with different places. Right, next. Um, this here is just a list of a few of our incredible partners that we um, do partner with. So you might be familiar with many of them and this, so for, me, I am at the United Center. So we are home of the Blackhawks and the Bulls. So that is just one of the awesome things, just working in a great, exciting environment, being able to just be so, it is definitely live, I can say, when it comes to the different events, just seeing so many faces and being at such, like in an awesome environment. All right, next. So this here is uh, something new that we are currently implementing with Levy and just in general with United Center. So again, one of the things that I did speak on was diversity and inclusion uh, that is very important. So we are currently in the process of creating a diversity and inclusion councils, which will consist of managers, associates, pretty much anybody who's expressing interest to be a part of this committee, just making sure that we are keeping everyone involved in everything that's going on within Levy and United Center as far as all of our events and things of that nature. Uh, we do have different uh, building activities, morning chats, just a few things that we will keep the team up to date with to just let everyone know what's going on because it is definitely a big location. So we definitely wanna make sure that we get that word of contact to everyone. So this is something that's really awesome for the team members to just make sure that they are getting that information. Next. So this here is just a list of the different areas that you are able to go to apply with us. We do have quite a few. And of those uh, four that you do see listed there that will display all of the different positions that we are currently looking to fill. Next. And this will just be uh, your forms of contact. So again, my name is Ebony. I am one of the human resource representatives and it is a team of four of us. So as you see there, Crystal, Nancy, and Samantha as well. So um, any one of us will be a key point of contact. If you have any questions, um, you can always just reach out to us via email. Next, I do think that is all. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much for that presentation, Ebony. And again, uh, if you do have any questions for Ebony regarding any of the employment opportunities that she just covered, please feel free to stick around for our breakout room session where you'll be able to ask your question directly to her. Thank you so much, Ebony. Our next employer presenter, uh, unfortunately, was uh, not able to join the session today, but we do nonetheless uh, have one of our employer partners that did want to say a few words on their behalf. So, Ken, are you available to speak briefly on MV? Yes, yes. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, mm -hmm. Good morning, everyone. Uh, again, as Daniel mentioned, uh, they were not able to join us today uh, due to hiring. So they got a lot of people coming in right now. But MV Transportation is uh, one of the leading providers of paratransit services uh, in largest private owned companies throughout the United States. Uh, been in operation for 40 plus years, uh, operate in 150 different locations throughout 28 states. Uh, locally, MV Transportation is in the Chicago area and also in Niles. Uh, positions they're looking for right now are school bus drivers, uh, paratransit drivers, and they also do have a Uber wave division. So now the important things. Right now, MV Transportation is paying $20 per hour. That's $20 per hour for their, for their workers. Uh, they have a $2,000 sign-on bonus, uh, plus can provide, will provide a $1,000 referral bonus. So 
a lot of good things happening at MV Transportation. Uh, benefits, paid training, uh, full medical, dental, vision, 401k. Uh, there's full and part-time positions. Uh, what's required must be 21 years or older and have a valid driver's license for at least the last five years with no breaks in your license, no, no gaps anywhere. Uh, great communication skills, uh, knowledge of the local area. So um, they, MV Transportation does a walk-in basically every day. You can walk into MV Transportation to complete an application uh, and meet with someone. Uh, they will possibly give you a hiring decision that day or at least a pending hiring position that day. Let's say it like that, because you will need to bring also a copy of your uh, motor vehicle report when you meet with them. Um, Again, pay $20 per hour with sign-on bonuses. So please definitely consider MV transportation if you are driving. Uh, there again, no CDL is required. They will train for all positions. Thank you, Daniel. Excellent, thank you so much for filling in there, Ken. And again, you can see the information up on the screen here. If uh, you know career opportunities with MV transportation is uh, something that is of interest to you, please feel free to uh, follow up with them. You'll see there they've got their address listed as well as their telephone number and then also what looks to be um, their career page or website, if you will. So again, if that is of interest to you, please uh, either jot down this information or uh, you can watch the recording of this session at a later date and follow up with them as well. Thank you Daniel, so much. One Jen. last quick, quick tip. I'm sorry. Yep. Uh, uh, you can also forward your resume to me. I'll put my Kenneth Fobbs uh, I'll put my email address in the chat so everyone will have that, but also feel free to forward me your resume to reach out to MV Transportation. Even better. Thank you for that, Ken. Much appreciated. Our next employer presenter will be Northwestern Memorial Hospital. Uh, Ash, are you available to present? I am. Yes. Thank you. Right, begin whenever you're ready. Sounds good. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ash LaFollet. I work as a talent acquisition professional at Northwestern Medicine, and I'm excited to be here today and, and give you an overview of who we are as an organization. Um, I support hiring for our um, main campus location, so our central uh, location at Northwestern Memorial Hospital, and support hiring for our environmental services, our patient transportation, our food services, and our materials handling departments. But um, we are hiring uh, for all of our roles. So it's a mix of clinical roles and um, administrative positions. Uh, we have union positions as well as non-union positions too. So um, my peer, Tanya Collins, is also gonna be on the line today. Uh, she will be joining me in the breakout room. Uh, so I just wanted to give her a quick shout out and uh, you'll have an opportunity to meet her later. So next slide, please. All right, so Northwestern Medicine, um, there's, uh, it's, it's a large system. So there's 11 different hospitals that are a part of Northwestern Medicine. Um, there's over 200 outpatient clinics. Uh, there's around 40,000 employees that work with us as an organization. So, you know, it, it's an exciting time to be joining Northwestern Medicine. We're growing. We actually just uh, integrated with Palos Health or Palos Hospital recently. So we're excited about that. But here is an overview. Here is a map of all of the different locations, um, at least within the state of Illinois. Next slide, please. All right. And here's just an overview of who we are uh, as an organization. So um, here's our mission statement. Here's our vision. And here's our values. Uh, I do want to just highlight the values. Uh, patients come first. Uh, you know, we wouldn't be in business, you know, without our patients. And, you know, they're our top priority. So patients first, integrity, uh, teamwork, and then excellence. So if these values, the job seekers, <laughs> if these values align with your values, uh, we'll definitely want to have a conversation uh, during the breakout room uh, or at least receive an application from you. So uh, we are the top hospital to work for in the state of Illinois uh, for the last decade the last 10 years. So that's definitely something we're really proud of. Um, I mean, there's a lot of great hospitals, you know, um, within the city of Chicago, but we are, we are proud of that fact. And we are affiliated with the Feinberg School of Medicine um, and with North, excuse me, with Northwestern University. Next slide, please. 
All right, and here's an overview of some of our benefits. So depending on what type of position, say you're offered a role and say you choose to move forward with Northwestern Medicine as an organization, depending on the number of hours uh, for part-time employees and for full-time employees, you'd be eligible for our full benefit package, um, our uh, medical, dental, vision, 401k, all of that starts on the first of the month following um, the new hire start date or the new employee start date. And talking about start dates, um, our next available start date is September the 22nd. We also have October 6th available as well for the job seekers. So if you started with us um, on September 22nd, for example, you'd be eligible for your benefits to start on October 1st. If you started with us in October at any point, you'd be eligible for your benefits to start on November 1st. Um, it's great quality care. You know, you can get your care at Northwestern um, if you prefer. Uh, and then also too, I just wanna say a quick note about the 401k that we do match up to 6% um, in regards to our 401k and you will be 100% vested after one year of service. Um, that's managed through Fidelity. Uh, let's see here. We do and offer- where is located? I'm sorry. If you can, sorry about that, Ash, if you could please okay. reserve your questions to the breakout rooms portion of the event, that would be fantastic. <laughs> yeah, we'll answer all your questions. Yeah, thank you. Okay, um, all right. And then we do offer vacation time. We do offer paid time off. Um, all of our new hires start off with 18 days of PTO. And then as an organization, we do observe six paid holidays as well. Uh, we offer a lot of educational support benefits. So if any of you job seekers are interested in going back to school, in the future, maybe for a clinical position, or it can be you know, something pertaining to Northwestern, um, you will be eligible for that educational support benefit, uh, tuition reimbursement, student loan forgiveness, also our professional development stipend. You'll be eligible for that educational support after one year of service with us. So you know, we definitely want our employees to not only advance professionally, but you know, to grow personally as well too uh, throughout our organization. Actually, a quick note about that. Uh, I was just reading an um, article on our company intranet. There are four uh, employees that we've interviewed who have been with the organization for 45 years. So I, I definitely think that speaks volumes to the stability of our organization and also the advancement opportunities that are going to be available to you. Uh, so again, yeah, opportunities for career development. Um, let's see here. And then, yeah, we do offer um, FMLA and short-term disability and, and things that we need. Um, we definitely take care of our employees. So next slide, please. All right. So here is our um, external career site. So jobs.nm.org. Um, if you have not applied online, please apply or please go to that website. There's a lot of beneficial information for you as job seekers. Um, on that career site, you know, gives us an, or gives you an overview of who we are as an organization, benefits, and then our open uh, opportunities right now. But that that does change pretty often, so you know, keep checking that. Uh, but jobs.nm.org, and then we do use a applicant tracking system. It's called Smart Recruiters. Um, it's it's very easy for our candidates and uh, applicants to apply online. Um, you know, and and when you are applying online, please tell us about yourself. So that's our external career site. If you haven't applied online, please do so. Um, if you have applied online and have some questions, uh, we can uh, take those during the breakout room. Next slide, please. Oh, yep, thank you. So we're, we're looking forward to seeing you uh, later on this morning. Thank you so much for that presentation, Ash. And as Ash stated at the beginning of her presentation, uh, she will be in the breakout rooms after uh, all of our other employer reps have presented along with her colleague, Tanya, as well. So if you do have any questions for uh, the Northwestern team regarding any of the positions that are available or any of the info that was covered here today. Please plan to stick around uh, for that session and, and feel free to join the Northwestern room. Thank you so much, Ash. Our next employer will be Worldwide Flight Services. Patrice, are you available to present? And Patrice, if you are muted, you will want to be sure to press star six. Okay, how's everybody doing? Uh, this is Patrice Brazil. I'm with Worldwide Flight Services. So our company is an aviation cargo logistics company. We are located all over the world. We're in 171 locations, about 100 in the United States, and we're represented in 22 countries. We have about 35,000 employees. 
And so all of the items that you purchase that are made from overseas, your cell phones, your laptops, your um, desktops, designer clothes, designer handbags, designer shoes, liquor, uh, other food, all of that comes from overseas and it flies into our airport. We have a group of people that um, take all of the cargo off of the plane. We have another group that take it into the warehouse and prepare it for inventory. It's inventory there so that U.S. Customs can come through and authenticate it. If you've been uh, listening to the news lately, you know that a couple of days ago, a lot of um, counterfeit items were um, were confiscated by U.S. Customs. That happens all the time. Anything that is going to be sold in the United States has to go through customs to be approved. So our employees are a part of the group that works to make sure those things are looked over by customs, that they can authenticate it for sale in the United States. So our employees prepare everything for authentication. They go through customs and uh, prepare it. When that's done, they wrap the material up and prepare it for the truckers to come in from different stores, such as Costco, Target, Sam's Club, uh, Big Lots. The truckers come and take that to the distribution centers, and from there, it's taken to the store where you purchase it. We're looking to fill a lot of different jobs. We're looking for warehouse agents who handle that inventory process. We're looking for a ramp clerk specialist, people who are going to put together pallets on a regular basis. Those pallets are the items that uh, hold the products that come to us. We're looking for operations agents. Those are people who are going to navigate the shipments off of the airplanes, and they're going to be working with the clients directly to let them know where they are in the process. If the cargo planes have been uh, moving at a quick pace, that's something that's very important because we get several uh, planes every day that come in and bring you different material. We have to be ready to move, get on the plane, attack it, and um, make sure that everything is prepared to take off. We're also looking for passenger service agents. Our passenger service agents are responsible for working with our guests directly. They're handling tickets and reservations for our guests, helping them get on the plane, processing their luggage. We have uh, ramp service agents who are handling passenger bags and passenger luggage for domestic and international travel. So we're filling a lot of positions. I'm looking to fill about 100 to 120 positions between Midway Airport and O'Hare Airport. We're hiring at both. I'm also introducing a new position, um, a position that we have taken off for material handlers. I'm going to need about 55 of those until mid-September. So we're looking to hire a number of different people at our organization. You will be working for us. Uh, We're not a temp agency or anything like that. You'll be our employee helping us with our customers at the airport. We're looking for people to apply, and we're hiring immediately. We're holding an open house this afternoon, as a matter of fact, and we're constantly hiring. All applicants who work at the airport must pass the TSA Homeland Security background check. That's going to look at 10 years of your life history confirmation. Any time during the last 10 years since 2011, any work that you've done, any time that you were in school, any time that you served in the military, we are a drug-free workplace. So you will be taking in 11 panel federal drug screens. We also look at any convictions that you may have had in the last 10 years that would prevent you from working at an airport. Any conviction was not going to necessarily prevent you from working at an airport. We do look at that on a case-by-case basis. For the majority of the positions that we have available, there are union positions, and you must have a driver's license. We ask that you bring in a driver's license, birth certificate, and social security card or permanent resident card to get the process started for your badges. Next slide, please. We are one of the leading ground handling organizations in the country. Um, We work with our employees directly. We promote from within. We treat all of our employees in a respectful manner. We treat them like family, and we coach our employees to excellence. Many of the positions that we have available are starting above the Chicago minimum wage. 
We generally start at $17 an hour, and we offer more depending upon their background and experience. We offer training opportunities for our employees, an excellent benefit package that includes medical, dental, vision, life insurance, short-term and long-term disability. We offer a 401k plan for all employees so that they can prepare for their retirement. If you are a part-time employee, we also offer benefits of dental, vision, life insurance, short and long-term disability, and the 401k plan. Next slide. So those are the benefits that we offer to our employees who are full-time. And next slide. That's what we offer to our part-time employees. There's a little bit more information about the 401k plan. As I said, we're hiring a lot of people at this time. This is a great time to join our organization. Generally, we hire on the spot. And if you're interested in joining our company, you can start as early as the 30th of August. Thank you. Thank you so much for that presentation, Patrice. And again, as I've been stating, if you do have any questions for Patrice regarding any of the information that she covered regarding employment at Worldwide Flight Services, please feel free to stick around for our breakout rooms portion that will be upcoming. And of course, you'll have an opportunity to ask any questions that you have at that time. Thank you so much, Patrice. Our final presenter uh, of today will be Verizon. Jorge, are you available to present? Yes, I am. Can uh, you hear me clearly? I'm not able to access video today. I do apologize. Yeah, no worries, Jorge. I can hear you loud and clear. You can begin whenever awesome. you're ready. Yeah, go right ahead to the next slide. So today's agenda, um, we'll be going over some topics. Uh, quick introduction of myself, uh, Verizon Wireless, uh, what you'll be doing, um, and what is Verizon Wireless looking for in regards to an applicant um, or candidate, how to apply, and success uh, through the interview process and uh, hear what we have to say as far as employees. Uh, next uh, slide, please. So my name is Jorge Hernandez. I am a recruiter for Verizon Wireless. I've been with the company for almost two and a half years. Uh, great company to work with, uh, diverse um, atmosphere, great benefits, uh, great opportunities for career and success. And we're definitely gonna discuss that. Uh, and maybe some Cinderella stories if uh, I can share and have enough time. And of course, my counterpart here, Scott, uh, we make up most of the region uh, here in Illinois. I take care of more of the downtown Chicagoland, uh, Northern area, as well as the Southwest suburbs. Uh, he's more of the Schomburg um, up north, probably up way as far as Waukegan, Lake in the Hills for opportunities for our retail stores. So we are our retail talent acquisition for Verizon Wireless team. Next slide, please. Um, so why Verizon? Uh, there's a lot of growth opportunities, of course. Uh, the experience that you have with um, different uh, opportunities, um, the collaboration, uh, we basically uh, do, you know, uh, the, the status quo defiers, right? We, we believe in diversity and growth and opportunities for everyone. We are a global company. Um, there's awesome pay and benefits throughout the process. Um, you will receive your benefits day one. Uh, our company reputation, 14, uh, Fortune 19 company, we're a leading industry uh, above all cellular companies, old award winning for four major awards. Uh, first to roll out 5G network, we partner with collaborative uh, innovators across the world to make dreams realities, right? So. Uh, and why uh, we matter is because we keep everybody connected across the world. Uh, definitely a great cellular company with a lot of different um, technologies that we are launching, um, you know, to help everyone uh, around the world, whether it be a doctor performing uh, uh, operation in a rural area, a business group uh, in, in New York where they're doing construction, or communication within schools. So Verizon Wireless has a lot of opportunities uh, across uh, you know, uh, the United States. Next slide, please. So what you'll be doing really is definitely customer service, uh, customer relations, product knowledge, consulting, and as well as sales. Uh, these uh, locations are going to be multi-stores, either working at two stores under one, manager or one specific store addressing customers needs 
Uh, it's not just selling the product as well. Of course, we will be tasked to sell accessories and products, uh, but it's also the customer experience, addressing customers' concerns, uh, making sure that we are retaining our customers as well. So you're looking over um, active listening to some of the skills, creative personal uh, connection, passion uh, for cutting edge technology, understanding that there's different technologies between the Samsung and the iPhone, you know, what you may want to offer a customer that comes in. Next slide, please. So as a retail rep, um, uh, some of what you would be doing on a day-to-day -day task is uh, addressing customers that come in, uh, making sure that uh, they are welcome, of course, putting them in the queue uh, and then asking, you know, what the situation may be. It may be a sales situation. It may be a different situation with reference to uh, opportunities where um, they want to come in and purchase packages for a family or a business group. Uh, may look for some technology to have a GPS system tracking uh, their truck. So you would be the product knowledge expert, and we do train on this opportunity, and it is paid training. Next slide, please. So for Verizon Wireless retail opportunities, it's good to have a diploma, of course. That's what we're looking for. And one year of customer service experience. And that doesn't necessarily need to be at one location. It could be drawn up from one year at three different locations. If you're working as a bartender or maybe a customer service agent um, or maybe hospitality, for example, um, it would all tie into the same for customer service experience. So one year of uh, uh, experience and definitely willing to work weekends and holidays. Uh, those are probably our prime uh, high peak hours. So if weekends and holidays is not what you're looking for or working retail hours between nine in the morning, seven in the evening, it may not be the best fit for you, but definitely if you are looking for those weekends opportunities, we have that for you. Even better to have, of course, as an associate's degree, having customer service and maybe a bilingual skill as well. Qualifications and what to expect. So the requirements we just mentioned the expectation is create a personal connection, provide customer service solutions, generate sales in a team-based atmosphere. Schedules now could range anywhere between 24 to 28 hours, 32 to 40 hours each week. Right now, we are definitely promoting 40 hours full-time opportunities and some 32 part-time opportunities. Um, and then retail, of course, facing um, covering and uh, gloves provided for uh, COVID. We definitely uh, do look out for our, our, our store reps. If there's an outbreak or anything, we will close down the store for X amount of days and make sure that the location is sanitized on a day-to-day -day basis. We do um, follow all guidelines in regards to um, what, what stringent most ensure the protection. Next slide. Next slide, please. So applying is, is pretty simple. Um, one slide back, please. Um, so applying is pretty simple. Uh, you would submit an application, right? Uh, you would have to go to verizonwireless.com. There's a retail section. Uh, click on the retails, verizonwireless.com forward slash retail. It will give you the career options. You would do a search by zip code once you identify the opportunity. You would then start the application process. If you are a military member, or have been a veteran of the United States military like myself, please choose that option. There is opportunity for you as well with uh, having that skill set. Also, if you are bilingual, you may want to go ahead and mention that to the bilingual pro or to the application process so it is known. Uh, once you get done with the application, uh, you will then be requested to take an assessment and then as well as a recorded interview questions, right? Um, they have about five business days to clear that. I would highly suggest trying to accomplish it as, as, uh, as fast as possible. But of course, take your time. You don't want to rush it and fail. If you do fail the assessment and the behavioral questions, we will not be able to move forward. It is part of the uh, process. So just be mindful. Take your time. Um, once you do complete both and they will be back to back, um, you will receive notification immediately. Uh, you will then uh, probably get a call from me as far as uh, opportunity uh, to discuss uh, the um, placement opportunity a little bit more further in depth. 
once we do pass the screening and we feel comfortable, both the candidate and myself, uh, in reference to the qualifications and the opportunity, we will move into a hiring management um, virtual interview. Uh, then once that's accomplished, the hiring managers will make a decision, uh, usually within four business days to a week, you will get notified via email uh, if you did get the position or not. Next slide, please. So for success, the interview, um, behavioral questions, use the STAR method, research, uh, definitely know the employer, go to our website, fall in that foxhole. Um, there are interview tips that we do give out. I know I give that out, blogs and information that you can literally find in Verizon Wireless that'll help you um, be prepared for the interview, uh, especially the STAR method. If you have not or do not know that acronym, look it up, definitely uh, a good, um, acronym for you to keep uh, your conversation um, intact, not going off on a tangent. Communication, very important, making sure that your uh, emails are accessible, phones don't leave your voicemail filled, and as well as your resume up to par, and you wanna keep checking your emails. You wanna dress for success, just because it's a virtual interview doesn't necessarily mean that you should underdress, be a business casual, business professional, body language is always a plus too. Uh, make good eye contact, be very attentive, show that confidence in yourself, and answering questions, of course. Uh, when they do ask a question, be repetitive, recite the question, and go into that STAR method, uh, making sure that you do have good information and content, um, you know, when answering behavioral questions uh, throughout the interview process. Next slide, please. Jorge, we will have about one minute left to wrap things up. Sure. I should be on my last slide. Um, so Verizon Wireless pays at $17.55 with commission. Um, the opportunities do um, give you uh, benefits the day that you do start. There's no probate period, medical, dental, and vision, parental leave if you're expecting or adopting, uh, vacation, personal days off, uh, paid training, 100% commission for two months, a 401k that matches 6%, stock options, employee discounts, tuition assistance, and growth opportunity advancements after a year in your position. There are other facets that you could draw into the company, uh, you know, within the United States, CONUS or worldwide. And I think that should be it. Thank you very much for your time. Excellent. Thank you so much for that presentation, Jorge. And as I stated prior to Jorge's presentation, with the inclusion of the Verizon presentation, we have now reached the end of all of our employer presentations and we will now uh, begin the breakout room portion of the event here. So what I wanna go ahead and do before we open up these rooms is just give you all a brief overview of what this process is gonna look like, especially for the folks that are obviously new to it. Again, you might remember the slide that I uh, put up on the screen at the beginning of the session here. Uh, you should have also received an email um, through Eventbrite when you registered, letting you know uh, that you'll want to be sure to have the most recent Zoom client for meetings software downloaded. Again, if this is not the case and you do not have that uh, downloaded, you want to go ahead and be sure to use that link that's up on the screen there. The Zoom client for meetings download should be the first thing that comes up on that page when you follow that link. If, again, you do not have the most current software, you'll want to be sure to go ahead and download that. You may have to leave the session to do so, uh, but you're more than welcome to rejoin the session. Of course, we'll let you in. You will not be uh, permanently, obviously, excluded from the session. To give you all just a brief overview of how to go ahead and join a breakout room session, we have a couple screenshots here on this um, screen that you'll see. The screenshots that I do have there, just an FYI, those are taken from a laptop or desktop, if you will. So um, you may not see this exact format, if you will, if you're joining via telephone or a tablet. Uh, but in general, again, if you're joining either for, you know, via laptop or desktop computer, this should be what comes up. Again, you move your cursor, there should be a toolbar that comes up. You'll see off to the right here, we have that breakout rooms icon. If you click on that, um, it should open up the breakout rooms that are available. And again, but I think it started with COVID, we had racial injustice coming to light. And every day we turn on our camera and we smile. Uh, Jorge, you were 
unmuted, just an FYI. So please be sure to keep yourself muted till we join those breakout room sessions. Um, circling back to what I was saying again, when you bring, when you click on that breakout rooms icon there, that's in the Zoom toolbar, it should bring up a comprehensive list of all the employers that we have on the call today. You'll see there in that red circle there, you'll just click which room you want to join. And then again, you should be able to join that room. In the event that you're unable to join the rooms, you know, freely on your own accord, just let me know um, in the main room which room you'd like to be sent to, and I can manually send you to that room as well. Um, you can either drop a message in the chat or unmute yourself and let me know which room you'd like to go to, and I can send you there as well. Again, this is just a brief overview of what to expect as far as the format. Again, uh, there will be approximately a one 50-minute session taking place. This will be continuous. There will be no breaks. And again, uh, the key feature of this, if you do have that software download, is that you'll be able to move freely throughout all of the employer rooms. Uh, once you do enter a room, you should be able to unmute yourself and you should be able to put yourself on camera as well. And then our next slide here will just be a couple ground rules that we'll want you to follow. Again, be mindful of the time that you're taking to ask your question. Of course, once you have asked your question and you have received a response from the employer, please be sure to put yourself back on mute. Give you know, your fellow job seekers the same opportunity. Again, you can share your video on camera, but you know, just be mindful uh, you know, that folks can see everything that you're doing. So please keep it respectful, keep it professional. Again, if you don't abide by the rules, we do have several options that we can use. Um, you know, to obviously restore order, if you will. So, uh, you know, if unfortunately, for whatever reason you choose to be inconsiderate, we can uh, offer you one verbal warning. Um, and then if you continue to be disruptive, we will have to place you permanently on mute. Um, if you continue, you know, once on mute to use the chat as a means for further disruption, uh, we do have the option to remove you from the session entirely. Again, we don't wanna do this typically don't have to do this, but again, this is um, an option that we do have if you choose to be disruptive. So with that, I do believe we have covered all of our ground rules here today. What I'm gonna go ahead and do now momentarily is open up the breakout rooms, and I will give you an overview of what that's gonna look like as well here. So again, I do have the um, timer set to 50 minutes. When we do enter those rooms, there should be a timer up in the right-hand corner that'll tell you how much time uh, we do have left in the session. Once we reach that 50th minute, there will be a countdown timer that will begin. And I do have it set to approximately one minute. At that time, you can either leave the session and come back to the main room, or if you choose not to, you'll be kicked automatically back to this main session once that room closes. At that time, we will just have a few brief closing remarks and we'll go ahead and round out the session. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and open up these rooms now. And if you have difficulties joining those rooms, just let me know which room you'd like to be added to. And again, I will manually send you or sign you to that room. Without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and open up these rooms. Thank you all. And the rooms have now been opened. Again, uh, you should be able to freely join the rooms that you'd like, assuming you have that Zoom client for meetings software downloaded. Uh, but again, if you are having issues joining any of these employer rooms, let me know and I will manually assign you to the rooms. I will keep this uh, screen up on here just to give you a, a brief um, idea as to how to go ahead and join the rooms. Again, the screenshots that are on the screen right now are from a desktop or a laptop. If you are joining by a telephone or a tablet, you may have to click, if you see there, the tab that says more with three dots off to the right hand side, you may have to click that and there should be a drop down menu that comes up and you'll also see a breakout rooms option there as well. The second screen should show up that you see there uh, listing all of the rooms and uh, the ability to join them as well. And I did see your message there, Kareem. I will add you to the Verizon booth. Give me one moment.
And again, if you aren't able to join the rooms, feel free to drop me a message in the chat. Let me know which employer you'd like to meet with and I can manually assign you to that room. Um, I'll go ahead and list the employers that we do have on the line just as a reminder. We do have Addis Home Care on the line. We do have All Point Security. We have the RDA Group. We have CTA, Cisco, Illinois Tollway, uh, Levy, Northwestern Memorial, Worldwide Flight, and Verizon. Gail, just saw your note in the chat. I will add you to the Cisco room here momentarily. Sonia, saw your message in the chat. Unfortunately, I'm not able to add uh, the jobs that correspond with each room. So you'll have to join that room. And then if there's any job positions that were covered uh, that are available, you can of course ask the employer rep any questions that you do have at that time. And to DeFi or DeFi, I do see your message here. I'll add you to the Cisco room as well. BD saw your message as well. I'll add you to CTA. Jennifer, I will add you to Northwestern. And Anashid, I will add you to Cisco as well. Give me a moment here. And again, for the folks that are still unassigned here, if you do want to meet with any of our employers, just let me know and I will add you to that room. Jeffrey, just saw your message. I will send you to Cisco. Give me one moment here. All right, should be good. Diane, just saw your message as well. Give me one moment. All right, should be sent to Northwestern. And again, the folks that are on the call, I'll go ahead and list the employers that we do have available for you to meet with. Uh, currently, we have Addis Home Care, All Point Security, the RDA Group, Chicago Transit Authority, Cisco, Illinois Tollway, Levy, Northwestern Memorial Hospital, Worldwide Flight, and Verizon. Where's the guy from Verizon? He's not in the breakout room yet. Looks like he just it rejoined the session. He's in the waiting room. My assumption is maybe his um, service cut out. So let me get him back in that room here. Thank you. Absolutely. And Jorge, were you? Yeah, I'm available. I'm back. Okay, give me a moment here. I'm going to add you back to that room. Okay. And you should be good to go.
And seeing a few more messages in here in the chat, Raymar, I'm gonna add you to CTA. Give me one moment here. Okay, should be good. And Sonia, see your message on Northwestern as well. Give me one moment. And you should be good to go as well. Any other job seekers that wanna meet with our employers today, just drop me a message in the chat. Let me know who you'd like to meet with and I will sign you to that room. And I see your message here in the chat. Jennifer, would you like me to uh, send you to Northwestern once more? Yes. Okay, give me one moment. Rosalind just saw your message in the chat. Give me one moment here and I'll send you to Northwestern. And for any of our job seekers that are still in the main room here, if you would like to meet with any of the employers, let me know and I will happily send you to whatever room you'd like. Thank you.
Just saw your message in the chat, Michael. Give me one moment. I will send you to CTA. You should be good. Hi, uh, sorry about that. I got kicked out. Hi, Michael, just saw your message here in the chat. Give me one moment. I'm gonna move you, I did send you to the group, just doesn't look like you have joined it. So I'm gonna move you to another room real briefly. Don't um, accept it. And then I'll move you back to the, the CTA room. So give me one moment.
Hello. Hi there. Hi. Hello. Hi, what are you guys doing? Uh, you have joined a breakout room session for a job fair. Uh, in order to join any of the rooms that we have available, you'll want to follow the instructions that are up on the screen. If you have difficulty doing so, let me know and I can manually assign you to a room as well. Just let me know. So where do I, where do I um, click break room? Breakout room. What device are you joining by? Um, the Zoom, no? Or Google? Yeah, but are, you, are you joining by a computer? tablet phone what device laptop laptop got you yeah so if you move your you know your cursor your mouse there should be a toolbar that comes up at the bottom okay and there should be an option for oh, breakout room okay yep click on that and then there should be a list of all of our employers there that are available and then off to the right hand side you'll see the join oh you guys it's different now Correct. Yep. So you can join whichever room you'd like. You can go between rooms, however you see fit. Okay. Okay. Let me. Okay. See. Thank you. Yeah. Let me know if you have any issues. Okay. No problem. Thank you. Let me mute. Let me mute.
Okay, well, it looks like we have reached the end of our session here. Looks like a majority of the folks have re-entered the main room here. Uh, I did see a message here in the chat uh, asking if the session had been recorded. Uh, to answer your questions, yes, the, re the session has been recorded. It will be uploaded later this afternoon to the Illinois WorkNet YouTube channel. Um, so if you did unfortunately miss some of our employer presentations for our first hour, of course, you're more than welcome to view the recording at that time. And then, of course, um, get up to speed on any of the information that you did miss. I do, uh, before we close the session out, want to give the respective partners a chance to give a few concluding or summary statements. So, um, Jeff with IDES, is there anything that you'd like to add regarding the session here today? Jeff, looks like you are muted. What's up? Oh, yeah. I was, oh, sorry, I was double muted. <laughs> no worries. I, just, I, wanna, I wanna thank all the employers um, for being here. Um, we definitely appreciate it. And I, um, the session I was in, we had, you know, we had a lot of good conversations and a lot of, a lot of information. And I wanna just say thank you for all the job seekers for attending. And I hope that you're able to find some good opportunities here today. And that being said, um, am I handing it over to Yolanda? Yeah, Ken and or Yolanda. Okay. Yes, and then I'll speak. Once again, I just want to thank all of the job seekers for your attendance today. It's our sincere hope that um, you felt that you received wonderful information and with wonderful employers. I want to thank our, our partners, uh, IDS, and our funders, um, the Chicago Workforce Partnership, as well as special thanks to Dan for um, keeping us on track and facilitating our Zoom uh, this morning. And we wish everyone the best in your career endeavors. Thank you very much. Can I say a quick word, Dan, before Absolutely. we go? Absolutely. Thank you. And, and I also would thank everyone for joining us. Uh, in Sounds like you cut out a little bit, Ken. It's been a pleasure working with you, putting this together. And I'd also like to uh, put it in the chat for the room I was in, but if uh, you are interested in various positions, feel free to forward your resume over to Employment and Employer Services. You can send that directly to me, and then we can also reach out about WIOA services and also uh, help you, uh, assist you in connecting directly with the employer that you were working with. Maybe put a note. Uh, as to which employer you were interested in, and then we can also help assist in that. So I'll put the, my information in the chat. One more. Any oh, questions? Thank, thank you, you all. so much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so Daniel? much, Ken. Absolutely. Hi. Uh, yes. On behalf of Greater Walters AME Zion Church, thank you. Thank you, thank you, employers. Thank you, job seekers. This was really a wonderful, wonderful community outreach program. Thank you, thank you, Daniel, Jeff, everybody. Fantastic, thank well, thank you all. Um, again, to the workforce partners, of course, for your inde indefatigable uh, work ethic and, and efforts in putting this together. Of course, we couldn't do it without you. To the employers who carved out a time out of your busy or hectic schedules today, of course, we thank you for joining us as well and presenting all of this wonderful um, you know, potential information to our job seekers on the call. And then of course, last but not least, to the job seekers who did join us today. As some of the uh, presenters have already stated, we hope that uh, you received a lot of wonderful information over the last two days. And uh, of course, we hope your job search um, you know, goes well and that uh, these sessions here were fruitful for you. As I have stated, uh, the session has been recorded. I will be uploading it to the YouTube or Illinois WorkNet YouTube channel later this afternoon. Uh, at that time, of course, you'll be able to view both videos. You'll be able to review any of the information that was covered over the past two days. And of course, use that information to craft your applications, maybe hone your resumes, prepare for interviews, so on and so forth. So thank you all for joining today. 
Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you. Have a great one. Thank you. Thank you.